Hello. Having spent a fair bit of time trying to process uh, the better ways to work through Canvas, I think that there is a feature that we did not use last year that can be very helpful to students. We used the modules to be the you know, main navigational tool. And so we set up weeks as modules as weeks as the nav organizational and navigational uh, center uh, piece of, of Canvas. I think that Canvas has created or, or created previously a, a feature that does what we want to do and does it does it in a simpler way and in a way that is more intuitive for the students and may actually be more intuitive for for us as well as as we work through it so what we want to do is to have all the classes set up in a way that that students recognize the setup uh, when they go in they know exactly where to go to find everything they need for uh, a given day and so if you know they miss the uh, 25th of august they know uh, when they go on to that day, uh, they know to go to that day and they'll have there the handouts they need, the um, uh, audio recordings, if we have uploaded any audio recordings, uh, any links to any resources that will be helpful to them, any assignments that we uh, need them to complete for that day, and uh, announcements if there are, so they know exactly where to go. Uh, when you log into a class so in order to, to set to set up the syllabus page which is the feature that we'll be using. Uh, if you go to the class uh, I have this class set up already with the syllabus page as the home page. So uh, last year we we had the module page as the home page uh, and if you want to change your home page just on the right hand side of the screen uh, you have uh, a it looks like a you know, little flotation device uh, beside choose home page or maybe crosshairs I'm not sure donut <laughs> um, when you click on that and it will give you the option of selecting syllabus as uh, the home page so once you've done that uh, this page will be your home page now it will look different from this it won't have the graphics or any of the text filled in and that's fine and you don't have to set your page up uh, to look the same but it's the it's the feature at the bottom of this page that is what we what we really want the students to be able to use and I think it will it will help uh, in a lot of ways so at the bottom of the page there is what's called a course summary the course summary provides a list of every uh, announce every event and every assignment for a given day so events are a feature that uh, we may you might not have used last year some of you may have uh, but events are created directly on the calendar and it basically is a, is a placeholder on the calendar where you can link to any number of other things so if you have a page created uh, that contains information about a certain resource or about an experiment or about a historical event or or even an ev a uh, page that's about a particular assignment you can from the uh, calendar event uh, link to that page uh, directly and it's a fairly simple thing to do but events are also um, easy to create and they're easy to make you know short little statements of what you're covering in class and so in this case I have uh, four different events listed for the first day uh, which basically say what I'm going to do and if a student goes to their calendar and just just to point out you can't click um, on the calendar to the to the right uh, it's not going to it's not going to open up anything you have to go over to the left hand side and click on your calendar for your canvas account when you click on that then you can select the class that you want to work in uh, in this case I'm working in ninth grade theology and so I go down and you see I have you know four different events there 
uh, for that, that first day of, of August 25th. Uh, the welcome to class, there's really no content in there. It's just a, a statement. This is what we'll be doing. Uh, then I have, you know, going over the syllabus. And here uh, I briefly describe what I will be doing. Um, and then there's a state, there's a, the topic I'll cover, which is the, introduce the, the idea of the canon of scripture. And uh, so I have some details. And this is just an event that I created really quickly here on the calendar uh, and put it on this day. And I've also got the handouts that I will use in class there. So they can click on those handouts and open them uh, without any difficulty. Um, uh, underneath that, uh, I have uh, an introduction to an assignment that I will be giving. And again, I have handouts and links that the students will need if they're out of class that day, that they can access that information right here. And so that will save me having to collect 10 days of handouts to give to students when they come back. Uh, the good thing about the calendar, the easy thing about using the calendar when you're creating your work, and you could theoretically create everything you need to create directly from the calendar, because you can click on the calendar, and it will give you the option of creating an event or an assignment or adding something to your to-do list. You don't want to use the to-do list because that will never show up for the students. But with the event, uh, if you create an event, uh, if I just did a random event, uh, and it's already set for that day because the day I clicked on, I don't need to change anything else as long as it's on the right class. I can go to my options and under my options, I can link to other things. So say I have a um, uh, some a page I created with some content. Say there's there's a uh, a, a discussion that I want them to uh, work on. I can link to that from here. Um, I can uh, pull up. I can link to a specific um, element from one of the modules, and I can pull anything. Uh, that I've already created and put it on the event uh, and then you know, click create event. The event is saved. It shows up here. And if I go back to my uh, course uh, to that syllabus page, which is the landing page for the class, it will also be entered under August 27th. Uh, for that day. And I can, the student can click on it from there and it will take them right into the calendar and will show them those, those different things. So, and the other good thing about working directly from the calendar is that you can, if, you know, I didn't get to this, um, on the 25th, I can just drag it over and put it on the 26th and it will change all the, all the dates, uh, accordingly, uh, so that it's showing up on that day. So, in, in, in theory, uh, you could do everything, once you've set up your syllabus page, you can do everything you need to do uh, directly from the calendar with creating events or assignments here, um, or you can go in and make up everything uh, in your, your class, uh, so sort of in the, the, the deep dark underbelly of your class, with setting up modules and pages and uh, discussions and assignments and quizzes and all that and then create events and link back uh, from the event to any of those things. I think it's also worth noting that it's helpful to students if you put an event for when you assign something and you also have the assignment when that particular thing is due. And so in this case, I assign the memory verse um, on Wednesday 26th, even though the memory verse is not due until September 2nd. If I just have uh, the due date, so the assignment on there, and I don't create an event when I tell them about it, then if they're looking at the calendar, the first time they see that assignment is quite possibly when they get to that day. And so it's it's helpful, I think, if you create an event to tell them uh, this is the, the assignment that's upcoming, and then you have an assignment created on the day when that assignment is due. So um, 
just to, to recap uh, several things that I've covered. One, you need to set your home page as your syllabus uh, page. So you set your home page as your syllabus page. Make sure that your home page is visible to students. Uh, and then you can set up your, your, your syllabus page any way you want to. But what's important is that you have this uh, course summary down at the bottom. And, and Canvas will generate that automatically. And then what I, I suggest we do is that we uh, create everything right on the calendar so that, so that we then you know, can, can see for ourselves is everything that I want the student to have, is everything that a student who is absent will need accessible from the calendar page and from this course summary page. I think if those two things are in place, the students will have a much easier time using Canvas and it should, as a result, lead to much less frustration for us as well. Uh, the final thing that I suggested is that we, we create a event when we tell students about an assignment and then we have an assignment when that particular assignment is due. So using the uh, event feature quite liberally, I think will help in the long run. I hope that's helpful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, if I can help in any way. I hope you have a, a great day and a blessed year.